do, and indeed all members, uh, I'm sure at different times, certainly those based in rural and regional communities, have raised the issue of rural crime. Uh, you reap what you sow, uh, and indeed uh, the current government in closing 139 guard stations, uh, in the fact that in the latest recruitment drive, which uh, produced, uh, I think, about 200 guards nationally, uh, none went to Sligo, uh, I think none went to Leitrim, and I think about five went to Donegal, and that's just in the, uh, the northwest region where I live myself. This very morning, a supermarket uh, and pub was uh, uh, the subject of a robbery, which on, went on during last night. Of course, there's no guard station there. Uh, some 30 miles away for uh, guards to get to them uh, on time. And that's why I say uh, you reap what you sow. I think uh, that apart from desolating rural Ireland by the closures uh, of critical community services such as guard stations, uh, we've also left locations like Tremor West in County Sligo where this latest robbery took place this morning as targets for these um, gangs uh, who are quite sophisticated. Five people with heavy machinery knew what they were doing, did it seamlessly, didn't care that alarms were going off and sadly because of under-resourcing in terms of guard stations and people on the ground, uh, these criminals are not yet apprehended but we hope and wish the Gardaí well in that regard. So I would like us uh, to debate the issue of rural crime and what we can tangibly do uh, to restore normality to rural communities throughout the country so that people, business people, elderly, that all people can feel safe in their homes, in their business, uh, with a visible presence of Gardaí in terms of Garda stations and personnel. Thank you.